We're very going big to day. Bowen Island. For our first trip. Very, so very excited. First trip. Another successful undocking. We just docked at a fuel dock for the very first time here. Oh. Woohoo! We found wind again. Wind in our sails. That is our destination right ahead of us. You and me. Six knots of speed. Yeah, we're almost there. Woohoo! We are ecstatic. One of the best sails ever. <laughs> We are getting into the marina. Could not be more amazing that exactly one year ago we came here as bloody beginners. We just came from a really good dinner. <sighs> We're tired and exhausted. There's water everywhere. We do have water pressure, but a bit of a flooding issue here. Well, I hope we, we can stay for another day. I'll have to, have to call up. Good morning. Just woke up. Making breakfast. And I'm gonna go explore. Welcome back to Sailing Pytus. This is our second episode of our Bowen Island trip. If you haven't seen last week's episode, you should definitely check it out. We put the link in the description down below. Today, we are going to explore Bowen Island. And then it's time for us to head back. And little did we know feeling? what to expect. It's gonna be a wild one. So buckle up, strap in, grab some popcorn, and enjoy the show. We have made it to the other side of Bowen. Oh, it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. And we saw a cat on. Yeah, it's like a guy on a board. That's weird. We're taking a little break. A little snack break. <laughs> Getting jealous of this house behind us. It's a really nice house. We'd be okay with this. Nice view. the life. It's the life. Whew. That was one steep path. Path to the beach. Down here. Super steep. But we did it. We made it. We have actually not really an idea where we're going. We know we need to go that away. But the maps here are not really good, so we're just going by feel. Mm -hmm. we're going by feel. Bone is really sleepy, hey? The occasional car. And then houses on like crazy properties like this one. Check this out. We are now at the Cape on Bowen. Whatever that is, we're there. We're at the Cape. Oh wow. Up between the trees up there, hidden.
More daffodils. I would be happy to. <laughs> They said, describe BC in one picture, and this would probably be it. We are at the western tip of Bowen Island, just hiking through some trails, enjoying the scenery. Gorgeous out here. Really gorgeous. If you're from Vancouver, you should definitely check out Bowen. It's a, a super quick trip on the ferry and public transit. You're completely away from the city and we found the perfect lunchtime spot. <laughs> Check this out. Against the little tree, sheltered from the wind. cliff here. It's insane. So, so cool. The lighthouse. Pretty tiny, tiny old lighthouse. Oh, Saw so another cool looking house. Yeah, this is a wild building. Obviously nobody's living there. It's pretty dead looking. But fancy as... Mmm. Fancy, fancy. After exploring the west side of the island, we had to make the long way back to our boat. Someone is a little cold. Yeah. <laughs> I was supposed to make burgers tonight. On the outside, but I'm just no, I can't. I'm just here, good with my blanket. Hi. The sun has gone down. It wasn't as sunny as we would hope. 
it's kind of chilly so we're not making our burgers the one thing i am going to try is fill our alcohol stove with our stove alcohol so all right the stove fuel it says you're supposed to tilt the burner 45-ish degrees like this and then you pour it in like so okay I'm gonna leave it at that close it up So this is full now. Let's take it inside. So this one has alcohol in it now. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. And this one doesn't either. Have alcohol in it? No. No? Sadly no. Sadly oh, no. I need one of those fireballs to keep it, keep it warm. <laughs> It's a drink. Anyways, this is the empty one. This is the full one. It's definitely, you can feel the weight. And then they have these little covers. So I'm gonna put that one on here and then close this up. So this is, this is how you size the flame, but all it does is really, I don't know if you can see, it opens a little latch inside there. So you see that little... That's all it does. Zero. Full. It's a lighter. How are you supposed to light this? You're supposed to turn the burner to four and then you're supposed to light it. Oh! It's burning. Look at that. And then you supposed to reduce it there look at that nice that was easy that was easy now what i'm gonna do as a test i am going to boil two cups of water with a trusty actual fresh water because uh, we didn't trust the water that comes out of our taps yet we have not cleaned it one Two. Two cups of water. Let's take this on here. Dial it up to four. Yeah, it's burning. All right, I'm gonna set my stopwatch. Let's see how long it takes. How long will two cups of water take in a pot, pot with a lid? There's a ton of condensation on the pot. That's a good smell. On the outside. Because the metal is super cold. There's super someone else cold. super cold. <laughs> we will check in every uh, every minute or so and see um, how our water is doing. This is definitely not the fastest way to boil water. We are making tea. Tina has some chamomile and I have the best Persian Earl Grey. It's actually been almost five minutes already. Let's check in on our water. So the pot is hot now. You can see there's no more condensation on the outside. Oh, there's some steam coming up. Good, good. First little bubbles. All right, we are at six minutes. You can't see it, but believe me. And we have boiling water. almost boiling water. Oh, that's all right. Six and a half minutes. Let's wait another half minute and then we should be good. Seven minutes. Seven minutes for boiling water. Two cups. What do you think? I even brought my thumb out for that. Yeah, we definitely have perfectly boiling water. Turning the stove off, off to zero. Ooh, ooh. The amount of steam. Because it's, so, it's cold. so cold outside. Oh, it's 
so there you have it folks if you have this Origo 3000 and you don't know how to use it yet follow our little guide seems like it was actually really easy yeah it's still a little bit warm what I don't know is is it off now or do I need to put the little rubber thingy I think I need to put the rubber thingy on that's it that's how we cook on our Origo stove our final day in our three-day trip had arrived Today it's time to go home. We get everything ready and start the engine to leave the dock. Okay, I have to bring my is off. Gonna take the bow line off. I'm stepping on. Right. Pulling us forward. Okay. Release. Forward, yeah. You're in the opposite direction. Okay, uh, okay. Um, I will yeah, okay, good. Neutral. We made it out and we are going at a great course, four knots, pretty much down when sailing right now. So we have like no wind, at least it feels like that, but as you can see our sails are full. Things are good. We had a wonderful time on Bowen. Now we're heading home. Direct kitty cats. 
yeah, a lot of it, a lot can still happen. We have seven hours of sailing ahead of us, so let's see if we can make it in one piece. Make it. Oh my god. Things just got really spicy. Things just got wild. Uh, one second we were having no wind. And then the next second we have like 10, 10 knots of wind, 15 knots of wind. With like these giant rollers. With our tiny 30 footer, just like, whoa. Yeah. Five knots with just the mainsail. We had to furling the jib. Otherwise, we would heal too much. It was insane. It was Absolutely insane. Ah, uh, we have like 10, 11 knots of wind. Apparent, apparent wind, and we're going four knots. That's Up crazy. Wind. Yeah, we have to tack in a little bit, but that's gonna be interesting. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna put my phone away now because it's kind of scary, and I need to be on it. <laughs> okay, bye. Talk to you later. How are you doing? Doing good. But it's definitely dicey conditions. 15 knots of wind. Yeah, we have our main out and we're like going like and five we knots. Sheet it out. Like, we sheet we're, it out. We're actually like sailing pretty hard on the wind. But because it's so windy, we have our main sheeted out as if we were sailing like downwind almost. Yeah. Trying to get as little speed as possible. Holy cow! From this oh. wind, but uh, yeah, we're gonna try to keep the boat at four to five knots. We don't want to go overpowered. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's exciting and scary and all of above. We were, well, we had our jib out still, and then we got a little bit of a gust, and, and everything we're... in the boat. Just like everything, fell. everything, everything just like, fell. Like, like yeah. Now we know. All right, we're gonna go. <laughs> like seeing we're rolling. Eating. That one I can tell them that to do. I'm gonna be run dirty. I'm gonna be run dirty. Just see you rolling. So fast. Wow! Oh my god, that's what it's gonna be. It's a bit of a wild ride. taking it out of you but it's fun this is what we came out here for not just to bob around in five knots how are you feeling uh, I'm feeling okay but it's just, ah, so we uh ah! we took a little bit of our jib out to go a little bit faster we were starting to like go only like two and a half three knots now we're going 5, 5.3, so we've picked up some speed, but it's, it's definitely dicey. We are out of the shipping lane, and now we have the wind right on our beam here, right from here. The waves are hitting us straight on, on the side of the boat. Tina is uh, geared up. Face covering, the gloves. The weather is gorgeous outside. And we're so incredibly fast. We, uh, yeah, we're probably like easily twice as fast as yesterday, yeah, as, as on Friday. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of insane. It's fun. We just jived and we are going downwind into Sandpits. 
it's not even two o'clock. We were really, really fast. Yeah. The rollers have calmed down here. It's still a bit rolly, but it's not as bad. All right, our sails are packed away. We made it. This spicy sail is wrapping up. It was a lot of fun. It ain't over until it's over. <laughs> Don't catch your chickens yet. <laughs> Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. They're still getting a lot of. Whoa! Oh. Washing machine here. But we're happy. Overall, it was uh, a good one. The cabin is an absolute mess. Quite the accomplishment. So, the current in Fraser is like really crazy right now. We're like going six knots on our knot meter and we're only making 2.2 knots way, which means we have like four knots of currents against us. We're just about to get to that red buoy and then we're gonna go closer to the rocks and see if the current is a little bit less over there. It's a sea lion, I think. Not a seal. We just disturbed their slumber. We're sorry. Looks like it's 2.6, to, so a little bit better on closer to the rocks. However, we did wake the sea lines up, so there's a pro and a, pro and a con. right now we're trying to go to the public dock it is getting a little bit shallow here but we should be good um, because the tide is still pretty low for us to get to our slip in the marina we're gonna chill at the dock here a little bit for a few hours until the water rises and we can head back to our marina and call it a trip it's kind of cool to be here. We're always on the other side on the land. You see that on the head? Uh-huh. That's our dock. Okay, cool. We have moored at Seafson. Another perfect docking. Now we gotta go get virgin food. And we're feeling really good. <laughs> We're feeling really good. Boat did amazing. It took us a long time to get up here. Yeah. Uh, we because got like from Bowen to there like. Yeah, in no time. No time. But and then... then getting here, it was it was quite the slog against the time. Uh, but we made hurts. it. Love we made it. Oh, now wow. it's time for dinner, and then we wait out the tide. Then we go home. And then we go home.
we are currently following the sailboat whose engine just didn't start and is unreliable so we're just following him to make sure it makes it home okay Just a quick update, we're trying to get into the marina and we're trying to not run aground. We have 3.8 right now, yeah. No problem, have a good night. That's our marina, it's almost there. Delicious luck. 2.4, God help us, 2.3. All right. Uh, well, we made it. We made it. We're just in our car. It's 9.40 p.m. We've been up since 7. Going and since sailing nine. since 10. We're tired. We're done and happy. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoyed today's show, episode, video. Hope uh, you enjoyed today's video. We're gonna go see our kitty cat. Let's go. We're gonna go see our kitty cats now. And apologies for the shitty lighting. We thought it's gonna be good when it's scary lighting. It's the car it just has no better lighting. Mm. Peace out. Peace out. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Even and though this video came out like months later. Happy Easter. Everybody. Happy Easter. Easter Bunny <laughs> was hopefully good to you. It was good to us. Ah! I'm almost home. Oh, almost. Almost. I'm carrying up.